think yeah so. those are those are the people that i would put in the acquaintance category the acquaintance for me the acquaintance category is like the potentials there pre friend just, yeah okay. <laughs> pre pre friend <laughs> yeah but i mean basically to be quite honest with yeah because for us to even become acquaintances that means i think you're cool enough and, and when i say cool i don't mean from a douchey standpoint i just mean we we like vibe, vibe enough right yeah right we vibe enough to the point where i'm like all right i could we let, let's let's hang out every once in a while so that's a good sign. So yes, there is potential there. Um, but I guess the only thing that's missing is the effort part. Um, and that's probably on me, but you know. Well, yeah. that's, so that, yeah, that's the thing when it comes to like effort. Like I think most of the time I can blame it on myself. Um, because if I want to go hang out with somebody, like I should make, I should put in the effort to do so. And if they don't reiterate the effort, well then, you know, okay, maybe it, it is what it is like no hard feelings but right. um you you move on so i think there's always effort to be made whether it's any type of relationship it could be a working relationship it could be a you know personal relationship it could be a friendship relationship you got to put an effort and both sides mutually have to put an effort for there to be something there for sure well let's get right into it then let's let's talk about maintaining friendships right i think uh well okay We'll, we'll start with, let's start with uh, what kind of qualities do you look for in a friend that, first of all, makes it worth the effort? Because I would say in college, we, I mean, Jesus Christ, we were going crazy in terms of socializing, right? And then obviously post-college, everyone kind of branches out and you kind of have to pick and choose because it's hard to maintain all of those people. On campus, it's easy. You see each other in class, you see each other walking down the street, you see each other at bars every weekend. It's easy to maintain that contact without even trying, right? But now people branch out. You got to like, you can't just like text everybody and hang out with everybody. You got to like pick and choose. So my question to you is like, what qualities do you look for in a friend where it's like, okay, this is someone that is worth the effort, the time to maintain this friendship for as long as possible? I don't know or is it just vibes like, maybe it's yeah not that i don't deep, know if i look vibes i don't think it's that deep for me i don't look for specific qualities um i know if i vibed with you before i'll vibe with you again for the most part obviously people change and whatnot but if there was that uh initial spark and that initial vibe and like you were on good terms and you you know you were you were hanging out and vibing at one point in your life i'm pretty sure you can pick it back up again even if you go a couple if you go a long period of time um without it i don't think it's not like you know the basics obviously like i want to be friends with people who are respectful i want to be friends <laughs> with people who you know have ambition and they want to do something with their life and they got motivation and they stay disciplined and they're they're working to better themselves like all those things obviously um but it's not like I look at that. I look at like, you know, the, I look at what I have in with myself. And if you're going to continue to be my friend, like I know I'm going to vibe with you because you have those same qualities within yourself. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Because, I, yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that. I think qualities, you know, like you said, the basic stuff, um, which pretty hefty list, to be honest. But I think. As long as you have, you know, the right morals and you're pretty laid back and just, yeah, maybe it's not that deep. Maybe it's just vibes. I think, uh, I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, especially for guys, I don't think it's that deep at all. Ooh, um, true, true, true. Now, when it comes to women, it might be a little bit deeper. Um, also, I don't know. They don't make sense anyways. Yeah, that's confusing. Because um, we, bro. <laughs> There's there's so many female friendships, uh, especially from college that I've looked at, and then they are continued to be friends, or you I see see them as friends and whatnot, which is great. But like, I don't know, like it, there's a lot that started off fake, and then maybe <laughs> now they're real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they're still fake. Um, like what? Why do you? First off, why are there so many fake f female friendships? 
I think they, bro, I think they like, cause I, bro, I was, I was talking to a buddy about this cause I, and I think you'd agree with this. If, if two guys are friends, right. And they both have girlfriends and their girlfriends meet. It's, it's 50, 50, <laughs> whether or not these girls like each other. Right. But if, uh, yeah, two, probably it might even be less than that. But if two guys are friends and they're like if or if two girls are friends and then their boyfriends meet there's like a 99.9 <laughs> chance those boyfriends will just even if they only have one thing in common they will latch onto that and just be boys like it's so easy uh for guys to at the you don't have to become best friends on the first night but at the very least just vibe and uh i think our our qualifications are less we'll put it that way <laughs> 